broke all of the windows in all of the Jewish businesses in one weekend. The, the Saturday night was known as Kristallnacht, which is German for night of glass. Did the Jews rise up and say, now damn it, you're violating my property, you shouldn't do that. No. Gosh, we don't want to make the Germans any madder than they already are. Don't piss them off. They've got guns. Eventually, the Germans are loading them up into cattle trailers, in the, on the trains. Where do you think you're going? On vacation? Where do you think they're going to take you? Well, now you're cold and naked and they're walking you into the ovens where you're going to go to mass execution. Is it time now to raise your hand and say, you know, I tend to disagree with all of this. Bang! You're dead. It's too late to complain. You should have complained at the beginning when you at least had a chance. How bad do things have to get before you do something? Do they have to take away all your property? Do they have to license every activity that you want to engage in? Do they have to be throwing you on cattle cars before you start to say, now wait a minute, I don't think this is a good idea. How long is it going to be before you finally resist and say, no, I will not comply, period. Sooner or later, you got to draw a line and stand your ground, whether anybody else does or not. That is what liberty is all about. This is the difference between the power of the, our Creator and anything else, particularly evil. That you can go into a pitch black room full of evil, full of darkness, and light a little candle, and instantly that darkness flees. But you can't do the opposite. You can't go into a well-lit room full of truth and wisdom and righteousness and joy and health and harmony with the universal power. And you can't take a, any amount of darkness and go into that well-lit room and have any effect whatsoever. That is the metaphor which I frequently think of when I think that I'm not empowered. It is the greatest lesson for me and I think for everybody else to know that we're on the winning side and that we win in the end. the American people know that 9-11 was a stage, was engineered by you, David Rockefeller, the Trilateral Commission, the CFR, and Bilderberg Group, sir. That's, how do you know it was a stage? Okay. It's a question. Answer my question. You, you're a CFR scum. You are a CFR New World Order scum. You and David Rockefeller will never have a New World Order. 9-11 was an inside job, and Brzezinski is responsible for it. 9-11 is an inside job. You are responsible for Brzezinski. You will never get a New World Order. Never. National sovereignty will prevail. The New World Order is going down, sir. You can laugh. Wake up, people. Wake up. Research the New World Order. This is important. Look it up. Investigate it. How did you let this happen? Wake up out there. You know, it's your children, don't you care? Uh, look what these people are doing to you.
The world is like a ride at an amusement park. And when you choose to go on it, you think it's real, because that's how powerful our minds are. And the ride goes up and down and round and round. It has thrills and chills, and it's very brightly colored, and it's very loud. And it's fun for a while. Some people have been on the ride for a long time, and they begin to question, is this real, or is this just a ride? And other people have remembered, and they come back to us, and they say, hey, don't worry, don't be afraid, ever, because this is just a ride. And we kill those people. <laughs> Shut him up. We have a lot invested in this ride. Shut him up. Look at my furrows of worry. Look at my big bank account and my family. This has to be real. It's just a ride. But we always kill those good guys who try and tell us that. You ever notice that? And let the demons run amok. But it doesn't matter because it's just a ride. And we can change it anytime we want. It's only a choice. No effort, no work, no job, no savings of money. A choice right now between fear and love. The eyes of fear, once you put bigger locks on your door, buy guns, close yourself off. The eyes of love, instead, see all of us as one. Here's what we can do to change the world right now to a better ride. Take all that money we spend on weapons and defense each year and instead spend it feeding, clothing, and educating the poor of the world, which it would many times over, not one human being excluded, and we can explore space together, both inner and outer, forever in peace. Thank you very much. You've been great. I hope you enjoyed it. London, you're fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Strip malls full of cancer.